What's up everyone? Welcome to Westside Vineyard Kids Church Online! My name is Josh and today we are in the Kids Church Kitchen because I want to understand what it's like to be a real chef. I want to be able to bake a cake that's as tall as me. I want to make gooey chocolate chip cookies that are so gooey that the chocolate stretches a full six feet. I want to understand what fondant is. Fond, fondant? Fond, fondue? I want to know how to say fondant. But, like most things in life, becoming a real chef takes time. Takes patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And I know a thing or two about patience. You see, Ronner and Megan bought me a gift card for baking classes for Christmas over eight weeks ago. And the classes aren't supposed to start until today. So I have to wait. And today I found out that the class is gonna have to be postponed for two weeks because the teacher is sick. Looks like she's gonna be okay, but still, I have to wait. So now I'm wondering, what if I never get to go to class? What if it keeps getting postponed again and again and again and I have to stay this way forever? The longer I have to wait, the harder it gets. If only there was a way to make the waiting not seem so hard. Hmm, maybe there is a way. In today's Bible history, we'll learn about a guy named Simeon who had to wait a long time for God to keep his promise. But Simeon didn't have to wait alone. So I guess I'll see you soon. I'll just wait here. Man, I could really go for one of those gooey chocolate chip cookies right now. Mmm, chocolate. Hey you guys, Chef Ron here. <laughs> I'm so excited that we get to spend this whole month talking about patience. It's gonna be so fun and it's gonna lead us right into the first Sunday of April, which is Easter! Yeah! Right now, I'm super extra excited that we get to lift up the name of Jesus together. There is no one like him. And you know what? Every good thing comes from God. So let's sing and celebrate him together right now. Nation. 
just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna. I just wanna thank you, cause everything you made is so faithful to us and I'm so glad that God is so patient with us. Life is so beautiful with Jesus in it. He knows exactly what's best for us. He's always working in our lives. He can help us be patient when we have to wait. That's what this new song is all about. Sing it with me. words to God in Psalm 119 verse 10. I trust in you with all my heart. Don't let me wander away from your commands. It's important to know what we believe. As long as I live, I will put my trust and faith in Jesus. Now, before Ms. Megan leads us into the Bible, Let's pray for today. Lord, we thank you so much for Kids Church this morning and a brand new month and a brand new life app of patience, Lord. Speak to us, Holy Spirit, through every Bible history lesson this month, especially the one today, Lord. Teach us exactly what you need to teach us, what you want to teach us, what we each need to hear, Lord. You're the one who knows that. Jesus, we love you so much. We pray this in your name and for your glory. Amen. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. It's the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much 
that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and had their lives changed forever. And now, sometimes we need a whole lot of patience. We discover that in the book of Luke, chapter 2. The birth of Jesus was unusual in many ways. He entered the world in a shelter surrounded by animals and celebrated by an entire host of angels. Glory to God in the highest. But Mary and Joseph cared for him as with any child. When he was six weeks old, they prepared to present him to the Lord at the temple. The law says we must offer a sacrifice of two pigeons. Or doves. How is he six weeks old already? But as Mary and Joseph set out for the temple with their firstborn son, someone was there waiting for them. That man's name was Simeon, and their stories were about to collide. Simeon had grown up in Jerusalem. Faithfully worshiping God, he prayed daily. Lord, help me understand your law. Help me serve you with my whole life. Simeon would have studied the scriptures, words from the prophets, hundreds of years before. The people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. What light, Lord? Over the years, Simeon continued to pray and worship and seek God in the temple. And God's Holy Spirit was with him. And one day, Holy Spirit, well, he made Simeon a promise. You, you will, will not, not die, die before you before see, you the, see Lord's the Lord's Messiah. Messiah. Me? With my own eyes? Thank you, Lord! Simeon believed the promise, and he waited in joyful expectation. Will it be today, Lord? And then he waited some more. Will it be this year, Lord? And he waited some more. How about this decade? We're not quite sure how long Simeon had to wait, but when his hair turned white, Simeon was still waiting. Soon, Lord. Today, at last, Simeon received a new response. The temple courtyard. I'm on my way. Where's my cloak? My walking stick. God's Spirit led Simeon straight up the Temple Mound and into the courtyard. Simeon stood in the center of the courtyard, allowing the voices to wash around him. Simeon wasn't quite sure what he was looking for, but he knew God's Spirit would reveal it to him. A baby? Simeon turned quickly to see a young couple nearby. The man carried two doves in a cage, the usual sacrifice for a newborn, and the woman carried a small baby in her arms. Joseph, where do we go? Excuse me. Both the man and the woman looked up quickly. May I hold the child? Well, all right, yes. Simeon took the child gently into his arms. In the eyes of the infant, he saw the face of God, the rescuer, God's promised Messiah. His name is Jesus. Over Overwhelmed, Simeon turned his face toward heaven. Lord, you are the king over all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. This is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. You will be the glory of your people Israel. Mary and Joseph stared in amazement. We knew he was special. This. Simeon looked down at the child and then gazed up at Mary and Joseph again. May the Lord bless you both. Gently, Simeon returned the child to his mother's arms. After a lifetime of waiting, Simeon was overjoyed to see the fulfillment of the promise God had given him so long ago. We don't know how long Simeon had to wait before he got to see Jesus, but it's possible that he had to wait years. We usually don't have to wait years for something to happen, but when we're waiting, it can feel like years. Sometimes it can feel like forever.
rap rap. Like when you're waiting for your birthday, or Christmas, or when you're waiting to feel better when you're sick. I know it's hard to wait, but here's the good news. You don't have to wait alone. God is with you. He knows what you're going through. He knows what the whole world is going through. And He knows how it's all going to turn out. So talk to God. Put your trust in Him. He's going to be with you through everything. In fact, He's going to be with you forever. So that's the one thing to remember today. When you have to wait, remember, God is with you. And as you head out into your brand new week, we want you to think about this question. When is it hard to have patience? I mean, besides pretty much all the time. But think about it. When specifically is it hard to have patience? Think about it. As for me, I'll be here practicing my patience. I still have to wait for my first baking class. Maybe it will happen in two weeks, maybe longer. But no matter what, I know I won't be waiting alone. God will be with me. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have some gooey chocolate chip cookies for us to try by then. Hopefully the gooey chocolate will stretch all the way from me to you. See you then.